Hello, welcome to 3D Printer OS, the world's first operating system for 3D printing. As you may know, 3D printing is all not that easy to use. So since 2014, we've been making it easier every day for our users. Taking your input from over 200,000 people has let us make a product that's better, easier, and faster. Today, 3D Printer OS is used by the top universities like MIT, Harvard, Purdue, Duke, Rice, and the top enterprises like Google, John Deere, Eaton, and also used by government agencies like NASA and the US Navy. Let's go over to my screen and I'm gonna show you quickly how easy it is to set 3D Printer OS up and get going. All you need to do is click on Start with 3D Printer OS at 3dprintos.com. Create an account or log in with Facebook, Google, Microsoft. In this case, I'm gonna just use my fingerprint and it's gonna log me straight in. Once I've logged in, I can upload any type of STL or 3D print file I need. The reason we created this was we got sick and tired of remembering all the settings and where my files were and so we made it super easy, very similar to Google Drive, where you can just easily find all your designs and projects. Everything starts as a file. So once you upload a file, you'll be able to quickly see it. So I can go to layout here. I can put this on the bed. I can center it. I can hold the option key and rotate it. So here you go. I've got a, a part that I want to print. I can even have it analyzed can see all kinds of attributes. Once it's ready in the layout, I can easily click slice. I can choose the kind of printer I have. And we're open to so many different printers, more than it's on the list right here. Once I have that printer, I can set up different profiles. So here we've got some Yale students, they had some PLA profiles. And if I ever want to change any of these profiles, I can easily do that and save these settings and create my own profile. Now, next time when I come in and slice, I have that profile available and you can share this across many students, users, as many people as you want. So I'll hit slice and what you'll see is automatically it started version controlling. It went from my files and went straight into a project. And you can see here I've got lots of projects from funny things like Yoda's to Christmas ducks to functional things that I use around the house. So this is how easy it is to use 3D Pro OS and instantly upload your files, store your files, and they're your files. So for example, here I've got a curling bolt. I can also view exactly how that's being made. And I don't have to download any applications. I can use it on iPhone, Android, pretty much anything with a web browser. I can also use some colors here. I can back into the uh, design here very quickly see how it's going to be made. I can also show the motion here, play it through, so I know exactly what I'm getting before I print. Once this is ready, you simply click print, and you click on one of the printers that you have. You can either queue it or you can go direct to print. So this is the file management. So it's very easy to manage these files, You've got everything from the record of time they've ever worked on. Now, if you're working on a project with other people, you can easily share this with work groups. So you could have all kinds of work groups. You could have students, you could have top secret projects, you could have any type of project shared with the people that you only wanna share it with. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that. And it tells me the list of people that are on there. So now I know and I will share that. Okay. Now, there's also some other interesting features here. I can um, 
create a different folder name. I can also set different slicing settings. So I can say, you know, I only want ABS on this printer, or I only want to be printed on Dremel printers. So I can set those. Very easy to use, as you can see. And let's go over to activity. So activity is kind of my view of all the things I've ever printed, on which printers I've printed it, the errors I had. I can go back and see exactly the G codes. Everything's recorded on the system. I can quickly always go back and see a video of the, the parts I made. So everything you need is all in one place. You never need to load up any other applications on your desktop. And this is super easy to deploy across your entire enterprise. So instead of having to go through IT and load up all the different software for all the printers, can you imagine that? On all the corporate or even you know university computers, with this, you've got full control through web browsers. So instantly you could give access to 50,000 employees with one click. Now, it's very important that you also have control of these users. So I can see not only everything that's happening across my organization, which slicers they're using, you know, the, the peak times, the number of prints I'm doing, but I also can manage all my users, right? And I can give them different controls. I can fire and hire people. I can do all kinds of printer configurations. 3D PrintOS is extremely robust. We've been working on this for almost nine years now, coming up on 10. And by getting all the input with over 200,000 users, we've been able to make this better and better every year. You've also got a, um, a view of your Dork dashboard. In this example, I don't have anything loaded. This is a test account, but you can see across your organization, everything that's going on. In the downloads section, here's how you connect to your printer. So we've got Windows, Debian packages, or if you don't know anything about Raspberry Pis, your 3D printer doesn't have enough computing power, you can just buy a Raspberry Pi and it's gonna automatically create an image with your passwords, usernames, and it's gonna download and you just plug it in the Raspberry Pi, plug that Raspberry Pi into the USB port of your 3D printer and it's good to go. Now we've also got, you know, firmware updates. So you don't even have to use a Raspberry Pi. You can go to your Ultimaker, instantly just download the client. Um, same thing with MakerBot. You can just download the firmware and take over the MakerBot. So if you're using MakerBots or Ultimakers, they can all work together. And so we make it super easy to plug in farms of printers, loads of users, loads of security settings all in one platform. So as an organizational admin, you can manage the rights for all your users. So you could have different labs, you could have different uh, groups, you can manage those groups, you can give them different permissions, queuing permissions, direct print permissions, and most importantly, you can create reports. So these reports are really, really important. Um, you can show your manager, you can show your boss, you can show the president how you're actually helping all those users print and how you're not having to hire a lot of staff with overhead. How one person can literally manage 200 printers and unlimited amount of users. And this is what we're seeing. We've got clients like Google that are in 45 locations worldwide. We've got Clients like Duke University have over 150 printers. Harvard has 120 printers, over 7,000 students taking ideas and with one click making those ideas come to real life. So 3D Printer OS makes it super easy to deploy correctly in education and enterprise. One of the big problems that we've seen with 3D printing is it hasn't been deployed correctly. Most people buy the printers they all have different software, they have different settings, 
They have different security. And so this becomes a nightmare to deploy. So unless you're all gonna use the exact same printer, and that exact same printer is gonna be the best printer for the next 10 years, you really start with a mess. So what we've been doing is helping our customers over years to make it easy. We wanna make 3D printing accessible to everyone. And we wanna reduce the cost of ownership of 3D printing. There's no reason that you need one person to manage 10 printers. And if you have 10 printers, and if 100 printers, why would you need to hire another person for every 10 printers to manage them? So at 3D Printer OS, we make it super easy for everyone to manage as much as they want, or as little as they want with one click. Thank you for your time and looking forward to hearing more from you.